What's up everybody, I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Welcome back to yet another two minute lawn tip. So nice to have you guys here. Hope all of you are having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. If you're watching this in the morning, make sure you got a nice cup of black. <sighs> anyway guys, speaking of morning, I know a lot of us are having a snowy morning, me included. It's actually snowing outside right now here in the middle to late April. Now this isn't something that really worries me all that much. As a matter of fact, I kind of find a little bit of joy in this because all the days leading up to this, I've been out pruning some bushes, doing some first cuts. These first cuts were a little delayed to the fact where the lawns were super deep. So really for the past couple of days, I was doing nothing but pruning bushes and cutting overgrown grass. So it's kind of nice to have a day of rest, if you will, leading up into next week where we can go kick some more grass. Anyway, guys, the reason I wanted to stop real quick and make this video is because I get a lot of questions from folks this time of year, because this happens a lot to us in Indiana, where we're kind of ramping up a little too soon, too early, if you will, like we did a couple of weeks ago here. We had temperatures up in the 80s, and then before you know it, here we are, bam, a week and a half later, and we have snow falling on the ground, right? I get a lot of questions from folks saying, hey Jake, you know, I got down my first pre-emergent, or on the flip side of that, I went ahead and did my first seeding of the year, I also did my first cut, should I be worried about any damage occurring after the snow? Well, my friends, we're going to go ahead and discuss that today. So I want to go ahead and give you guys two tips here when it comes to dealing with late April snow because this is a common occurrence where a lot of us live and what I would encourage a lot of you guys to do if you haven't already is to go ahead and skip your cut for this week. If you mow a couple of days before snowfall, which isn't really going to be all that harmful to your turf but can bring on other problems such as frost, which can be harmful to your turf, it is not a good idea to cut because when you cut what you're doing is you're opening up that blade and you're leaving it exposed if you will because when you mow the lawn you're actually leaving the blade open to repair itself for a little bit and when it's in that repairing stage it's actually more vulnerable to damage from that frozen evaporation that comes from the frost which in turn can lead to faster exposure to disease so that is not what we want so if you can and you haven't already go ahead and skip your cut until the snow is officially gone typically what happens here is we get one snow here in April after that we are officially out of snow season so nothing to worry about there now one more thing I want to talk about here which is going to be number two Two is going to be for those of you guys who put down your first pre-emergent, your first starter fertilizer, or maybe you did a spring seeding, all that kind of thing. I get a lot of questions from folks saying, hey Jake, I put down my first pre-emergent, or hey Jake, I did my first seeding of the year, and I also put down a starter fertilizer. Will I lose any efficacy from doing any of those things now that it is snowed in April? Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you, rest assured, there is nothing to worry about, especially considering the fact that there's really nothing you could do right now anyways. If you got down your crabgrass pre-emergent, which I ideally recommend in the springtime. I don't recommend seeding, but that's another video for another time. What I would encourage you guys to do is just trust the process of your pre-emergent product. Most of the pre-emergent products like Prodiamine are going to be able to withstand a day of snow anyway, so there's really nothing to worry about there. If you already got it down, you already watered it in, nothing to worry about, you're good to go. Now, for those of my friends who did a spring seeding, I actually have a little bit of experience with this. About a year ago, actually, I went ahead and seeded the big project lawn. You guys know my godfather, rich. He has about 30,000 square foot of grass. We recently added on to it about 8,000 square feet. And when we seeded that, we seeded it just a couple of days before it snowed in April. And boy, did it come down hard and heavy. And from what I saw, the lawn pretty much came in as normal. There was really nothing to worry about. As a matter of fact, when you do get snow after a seeding, especially if it's just one light snow, it's not going to hurt anything. It's actually going to act as a water source because once that snow melts, it's going to be able to provide a little bit of water, if you will, to your seed which in turn will supplement you actually having to get out there and water it. So if you do go ahead and seed and you do get a snow a couple of days afterwards, consider it lucky you're getting an extra water source that prevents you having to be out there watering for a couple of days. So that is what I would go ahead and tell you guys. So I guess all I could say from here is I hope all of you are staying warm. I know I sure am here with my JTLK hoodie. I've been having a lot of you guys asking about these. If you want, I will leave the link down in the description below to my friends who would like to pick up one of these hoodies. And I hope you're enjoying a nice cup of black this morning as well looking out your window, pondering what you're going to do once all the snow melts, because my friends, 
It's a year of bringing vision to life in your lawn and landscape. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. If you have any additional questions as well, leave those down below and I will get back to those as soon as I can. With that, I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later.